An unconnected output on a tool is depicted by a red square. To connect two tools with a merge, drag the output of the tool that is meant to be in the foreground onto the output of the tool which is meant to become the background. Observe that we are merging two different image resolutions here. A 2K image and a 720p image. The 720p image shows up on top of the 2K image because it is connected to the green foreground input of the merge. The 2K image is connected to the merge's orange background input. This is one of the most important concepts in Fusion and very important to become familiar with. The background always wins. The background input of any tool defines the mode and resolution that tool works in. Currently, the merge is outputting a 2K image. If foreground and background input are swapped by pressing Ctrl W, the merge now produces a 720p image and the 2K image sits on top of that. The foreground of a merge can be moved, scaled and rotated while the background is static. Also, without a valid tool connected to the background input, any tool will fail. When disconnecting the background input, the image in the display view disappears and the merge's render indicator turns red to show that an error occurred. Reconnect the background input and the merge will operate as expected. The blue input on a tool is used to apply masks. Each tool can be masked by a wide range of different mask types, which will be covered in later videos. While the tool is active, click on a mask to apply it directly to the tool. Alternatively, masks can also be connected manually. In our example, we have three image sequences. A patio, a rendered 3D element and a mask. The patio connects to the orange background input of the merge. The rendered element connects to the green foreground input. And the mask connects to the blue mask input. Tools can also be connected by dragging with the right mouse button. When you release the button on a tool, a pop-up menu allows to select the desired input.